ladies and gentlemen, they're asking us to solve. And I told you guys to solve by factoring. So there's a couple things we need to remember when we're looking into solving, especially solving by factoring. Um, first thing is we're always going to want to make sure we set our equation equal to 0. That's the first step. That was the same thing we did for quadratics. It's the same thing you're going to do here. Set it equal to 0. Then the next thing is we always want to see, can we factor out any common factors, which we call our GCF. Well, you can see that both of my terms share a 5, and they both share an x. So therefore, I'm going to factor out a 5x. By dividing out a 5x on both terms, I'm left with an x squared minus 1. Now I can go ahead and now I have my polynomial written as a product of two factors. So therefore, I can use the zero product property to set them both equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and solve for x. You could factor this further as x minus 1, x plus 1, which is the difference of two squares. Or you could just solve that using the zero product property. Right? Remember, when you introduce the square root, you have to include plus or minus. Here, you divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 0. How many solutions do I have? How many zeros? 3. What's the degree? 3. Hey. Could you guys graph that if I asked you to graph it? Sure, you just 